Here is Max Boston on the tee right now. Dear Coach Bedford, this is to thank you, your team, and a terrific group of Windsor golf parents for being such great friends to my son, Max Marson, and to me. Autism can have an isolating influence on individuals and their families, I guess because it can be easy to spot the differences and stay away. Your players show such sincere friendliness from start to finish. I have learned not to take that for granted because we don't always encounter it. My Max played with Max Evans and Jordan Starley this season, and I won't forget their skill, their sportsmanship, or their innate goodness. Since Max is autistic, it can be hard for him to start a conversation. What impressed me about these players is they got off the bus and they just initiated a friendly, just a friendly afternoon with Max. I treat him the same as I would my teammate or any other team golfer I play against. But when she said like they don't, she doesn't have players like us compete with her son, it was shocking me because he's not different than any of us. We treated him how we would treat any other player that we played against, we treat him like a teammate, like I treat him like Max, just compliment him, nice shot, ask him how he's doing. He would have talked with his teammate in the group who's a very good friend, um, but it was just so nice to see him, just the four of them mixing it up. He's probably the most honest golfer I've ever played with. He knows all the rules. He tells you what he's going for every time. I had a two puff bogey. Seven, I'm coming up. Our coach, Coach Branham, had, had explained, you know, very, very methodically about how you can mark and lift and place the ball in, in certain conditions. It was Max Evans who said, oh, you don't have to hit it out of that. And he actually came and just showed him, he just initiated again how to do that. And that was the first time he had ever done that. He was really good. To be honest with you. He's good. Yeah, he beat me at Norwich. Yeah, he beat me at Kanesawaka. Thank you all for your friendship. I look forward to next season and wish all the best to your seniors. You have made a difference. Sue Marson.